let's begin our coaster assembly. We're going to go new, standard IAM, click create. I'm going to place. We want to make sure this says place, not place from content center. Change it to place. I'm going to go to my H drive. That's first initial, last name, 000, and place my base. Click open. Click to place your part. Press the escape key. Next, over here in our browser, we want to pin this or ground it. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to ground it. See the push pin there? That means that that part won't move anymore. Next, I want to place again. I want to go back to my H drive, first initial, last name, 000. Select my peg. I'm going to put one peg over here by one hole, one peg over here by the other hole. Press the escape key. To constrain, I'm going to constrain. I want to use the insert tool. I want to insert the bottom of the peg into the hole. And I want an offset distance of negative 0.5. Click apply. I want to do the same thing to the other peg. Bottom of the peg, center line of the hole, offset distance, negative 0.5. Click apply. Press cancel. Next, I want to get my coaster. I'm going to move my base over here so I have some room using my hand tool, pan tool. I'm going to place my next part, which is the coaster. Click open. I'm going to put this on top of where it wants to be lined up on. Press escape to let go of the extra part. I'm going to constrain. I want to mate the center line of the peg, see the dotty line, to the center line of the hole. See the dotty line? Click apply. Next, I want to mate again. I want to mate the top of the base. Click my rotate tool. I'm going to rotate around until I can see the bottom of the coaster. Press escape to let go of your rotate tool. I'm going to select the bottom face of my coaster. Click apply. Next, I want to flush the right hand side of my coaster to the right hand side of my base. Click apply. Press cancel and go home. Next, I need to put a cork disc in here. I'm going to place, cork, open. Click to place it. Press escape to let go of the extra part. I'm going to constrain. We're going to mate the center line by getting right here on the upper edge. See that dotty line that's in the middle? I'm going to select that center line, and I want the center line of my cork disc. This edge right here gives me the center line. Click to place it. Click apply. Now I want to flush the top of my coaster, top of my cork. Click apply. Press cancel. Next, I want to place again coaster. Click open. I'll put my coaster on top of where it belongs. Press escape to let go of the extra part. I'm going to constrain, mate, center line of the peg, center line of my hole, apply. I want to mate again the top of this coaster, top of my first coaster, rotate. Press the escape key to let go of the rotate tool to the bottom of my second coaster. Click apply. I want to flush the right side of my second coaster to the right side of my first coaster. Click apply. Press cancel. Go home. Place. Cork. Click open. Click to place it on my screen. Press escape. I'm going to constrain. I want to mate center line of my hole in the coaster to the center line of my cork disc. Click apply. We're going to flush top of my coaster to the top of the cork. Click apply. Cancel. Place again. Coaster. Open. Place it on top of where it belongs. Press escape. We're going to constrain mate, center line of the peg, center line of the hole, click apply. I'm going to
going to press cancel to move this coaster up and off so I have some room to rotate. Constrain again. I'm going to mate the top of my coaster, the second coaster, rotate. Press the escape key to let go of your rotate tool to the bottom of my third, co third coaster. Click apply. We're going to flush the right side of my third coaster to the right side of my second coaster. Apply. Cancel. Go home. For my cork disc, I'm going to place. Get my cork. Click open. Put it on the right hand side of my coaster set. Press the escape key to let go of the extra one attached to my cursor. I'm going to constrain. Mate the center line of this big circle in the middle to the center line of the cork disc. See the dotty line in the middle? Click apply. And I want to flush the top of the cork, top of the coaster. Click apply. Last coaster. I'm going to place the coaster. Open this on top of my coaster set. Press escape to let go of the coaster attached to my cursor. We're going to constrain. We're going to mate center line of the peg, center line of the hole. Click apply. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to click my top coaster and I'm going to pull this up and off so I can rotate that down. Constrain. I want to mate top of my third coaster, rotate tool, I'm going to rotate, press escape, let go of the rotate tool, to the bottom of my fourth coaster, click apply, I'm going to flush the right hand side of my fourth coaster to the right hand side of my third coaster, click apply, press cancel, for the last cork, I'm going to place cork, click open, click to place it on the screen, press the escape key, I'm going to constrain, I'm going to make center line of the hole to the center line of the cork, wait till you get the dotty line, click apply, I'm going to flush top of the cork, top of the coaster, click apply. Press cancel. Your coaster set assembly is complete. Go to the capital letter I in the upper left hand corner. Save as. We're going to make sure this is getting saved to first initial last name 000. I'm going to enter in the name of coaster set. Save. 